All right, so let's talk a little bit about an identity seed and what it is. It's really quite a simple concept. So uh, when we have or go to create a table, let's create a new table. So here we've got, we've opened the Management Studio for short. Uh, it's SQL Server Management Studio, one of the, the great four letter acronyms from the guys out of Seattle. Boy, do they love them. Everything is a, is a four letter acronym. That's okay. That's cool. Alright, so we want to do this the easy way, so we'll do it through the GUI. We want to right click, new table, and here we have our column. Alright, so we're going to define a new table. So we're going to call our table. Uh, right now it's not time for that. What we want to do is give our table an identity, a primary key. Alright, so what are we going to do? Um, this is a surrogate key. Alright, so we've got two kinds of keys. Alright, let me get off on a little a little rant here. We've got um, natural keys and you've got surrogate keys. A, a surrogate key is uh, simply a key with no meaning. So if I type Mike, because my table's going to be called Mike, right? Mike ID. And I give it a data type of an integer. I say don't allow nulls. And I give my second, uh, see, my first name, first name. Varkar, uh, no nulls. How about last name? Varkar, no nulls. So we've defined three columns here on our table. Mike ID has no relationship whatsoever to what we're going to put in this table. All right. So this is called a, a surrogate key. All right. What if I were to create uh, let's say your application was uh, solely based on in the United States. A natural key. Well, a good natural key may be the social security number, right? Because your social security number is unique uh, among individuals in the U.S. All right? I can tell you, I've uh, honestly, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen a um, a database that was uh, composed entirely of, of natural keys. As a matter of fact, I don't think I've ever seen one that was composed even a little bit uh, of uh, natural keys. Most of them are these uh, surrogate keys. So we've got this key, right? So let's define it. Let's go here. Let's say it's going to be the primary key. It's simple. We right click on it. We want to set the primary key, right? It will create a clustered index on it. We want to pull our properties up, right? Now again, when I tell you that, you know, all this, we're doing all this through a GUI, all right? Remember all this, uh, anything we do is back end using Transact, all right? So we can do all this with, with Transact. However, at first, it's really much easier just to do it this way and then look at the code. So let's go down here to, let's pull up a little. Here we have identity specification, right? So is identity, yeah, over here, where we're gonna make it, we're gonna say yes, right? What are seeds? We can seed the value of our column. We can tell it we want to increment by wait, identity increment by one identity C one. Okay, well that seems logical. All right, so allow and all first thing. All right, so let's save our table. Save the table as uh, seed. All right. So now let's save it and let's open. Let's refresh our tables. Oop. And if we come down here, we can see seed. Let's do this the easy way. Uh, let's edit the top 200 rows. And so let's go and put our first name as, let's see, B -I, uh, Billy, Billy Gates. How about uh, uh, Larry E? Uh, <laughs> okay, so. Um, so when we did this, did you notice anything? Did you notice as we put these in, as I'm giving you that, who else? Uh, uh, how about the late Stevie, Steve J. What's going on over here in our column here? What's going on? Right. This is increasing by a value of one because we told it to. We've created our, our key here and on our identity seed it's being seeded these values all right so let's uh, close this and let's go look at 
So let's right click on, new query, and we want to select all. Oop, we want to spell it correctly. And what do we get? What we just put in there, right? The easy way, everything to the GUI. And we have our identity seed, all right? Our primary key, right? And if we go to the seed table, you can see that we've also got a clustered index. Where are our indexes, all right? Why is that? Because anytime we designate a column as the primary key, it puts a clustered index on it, all right? That's by default. So we've got an identity seed. Now we know what an identity seed is. All right. If you're uh, if you're new to database design, if you're new to relational databases, every table should have a primary key on it. All right. Very rarely should should there be an exception. All right. And uh, when you're designing this, they should use these identity seeds. All right. And that is it for the very uh, simplistic uh, overview of what an identity seat is. Thanks for watching.